Welcome to Change Your Funk to Fun with your host, Mary Mazur. Learn how your body, mind, and spirit operate and learn how to access a sacred, powerful tool called Psych K to assist you to ignite the wisdom within you to rewrite any limiting beliefs. So please welcome the host of Change Your Funk to Fun, Mary Mazur. Hi, I'm Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Today we're in episode 12, and this episode is Let's Have Fun in New Abundant Ways. All right, we're going to have fun today. <laughs> Are you open to it? <laughs> oh my goodness, we've gone through a beautiful um uh, journey together for those who have listening to my other podcast to where we are now. Uh, a big piece here is uh, we are all being called to master in uh, survival and even mastering through any suffering and pain experiences that we have had in this lifetime and other lifetimes and even throughout our ancestry. So with that, uh, it is very vital to feel safe here, secure here, to know you're deeply loved here and to wake up and remember that you actually are abundant. You live in an abundant world and the abundance is here for you. So that's what we'll be focusing in on today is about abundance and about how much fun you're having in your new abundant ways here. <laughs> so in order to do this, uh, it is uh, very helpful to be very honest with yourself and, um, and to admit uh, maybe the parts of your life that you're not having much fun in or the parts of your life where you do not feel abundant in because those are actually here for you and they're here for me too they're here for each of us that a gift comes in is when we can invite these parts of us uh, back um, back to ourselves again and actually listen to these parts of us maybe it was things that happened to us in childhood uh, at young ages that we either witnessed or that happened to us uh, that we get to actually uh, learn the lessons from and be able to change it. Yeah. So ah, first question we'll ask then is how much fun are you having in your life? Hmm, very good question to ask. <laughs> and you can give yourself a gauge, right? Hey, I don't know, maybe half the time or maybe maybe a little bit of the time or maybe a lot. That's awesome. So um, check in with yourself and just um, in what we mean by that, like how much fun are you having is how good are you feeling? How, how good are you feeling about yourself, about your life, about what you're doing in your life, about where you're spending your time, who you're with, <laughs> what you're doing, <laughs> all those pieces. Yes, yes, yes. And the gift is, is that any pieces that you don't like about it, this is where the gift of Psyche can come in. Uh, Psyche is a very uh, helpful, uh, very powerful and simple tool that helps people when they're ready to make the changes that they're ready for. And it helps them work at the subconscious level of the mind. So with Psyche, uh, you can work with a facilitator and or you can come to a workshop. And we'll be talking about that at the end of this talk. I am one of the certified instructors with Psyche. Psyche has been a huge gift to me. I've been using it for 14 years now. And uh, meaning that I check in with myself. I, I am very honest with myself, see how I am. And any parts that I, that I feel like I'm either being challenged by or having a difficult time with or yeah, where I'm not having fun, basically, <laughs> then that's what I use Psyche for. So how cool is that? I do love to have fun. <laughs> it's one of the things I'm meant to bring to this planet and to others to uh, bring in more joy and more playfulness, more childlikeness, more innocence. Even when we're adults, we can actually be playful. We can actually really enjoy whatever we're doing and however we're living and whoever we're with. And this is the invitation for you today uh, to expand in this. So even wherever you are right now, you can also expand in new ways. Yes. And even if you are having a challenging time right now, I'm even going through a, a very unique time in my life right now. Uh, and, and I'm still, so I'm, I'm using this for myself today as I'm going to be offering it for you. Of uh, Checking in. How are things? Am I, am I really having fun here? And I know even for myself, because of the issue that I'm, I'm working through and rectifying, um, yeah, I will have feelings of, you know, fears or um, concerns, especially about the unknown, because we don't know, we don't know what's going to happen today or tomorrow or the next year or these next 10 years. Uh, and the whole world is changing, <laughs> which can be a little trippy, right? Because we're like, what the heck is going to be happening here in this world? Yes, because um, we are shifting everything. On a good note, 
if we can remind ourselves that we actually are in the Aquarian age now, and we will be for these next thousand years, that it actually is a really great time. We actually just left a very difficult time. The Pisces age was a time of, of illusions or like you're underwater. So things got distorted. Uh, the truth got distorted. Things got out of balance. Uh, there was a lot of patriarchal running the world and um, things, yeah, whew, weren't in full balance yet. And so what we're meant to do here is within our own selves, within ourselves, check in where we're out of balance, where we don't feel like we're in harmony, where we definitely don't feel like we're having fun. And yeah, where things are difficult or still hard and still challenging and definitely uh, scarcity or lack where we have uh, fears of maybe not having enough money or not having enough resources or having enough help. Though these are all here for you because uh, we are here to rectify that, to shift that. And a great way to do that is by changing your beliefs at the subconscious level of the mind. And that's what Psyche helps us with. And then when, once you can do that, you literally upgrade your system within you. Then you begin to go live your life in a new way. See how you can bring in more, more fun. Where can you actually experience abundance that you couldn't before? So this is the gift. And that's what we're meant to do is we're meant to go uh, uh, live in new ways, experience in new ways, go uh, hmm, live more expandedly instead of contractedly or just uh, out of fear or just trying to hide or trying to just get by. Okay. Because yeah, many of us, um, even just getting by is like enough for people, which we get because it's way better than suffering and pain and being in deep, deep density contraction issues. And you can actually move through getting by and up into the flow. Yes, you can. And we're going to help you with that too, <laughs> which is really awesome. So with this, um, let's check into this three key words here that we're really going to be looking into deeply with. One is the word fun. The other one is new. And the other one is abundance. Okay. Hmm. Yeah. And how about we begin with the word new? Okay. Because I think that's actually the um, pivotal point to let us um, access uh, more enjoyment within ourselves to be able to vibrate at a higher vibration of love and joy and peace in these flow expanded energies within us that we actually are really truly are. This is how we were when we came in as newborn babies and little children. We're playful. We're innocent. We have, we're living in the present moment. We're here in the now. Children, they, there's been research that has been done that children like around four years old and stuff laugh about 400 times a day. Wow. Can you imagine that? Laughing 400 times a day as an adult? <laughs> Let's see how much more we can begin to laugh, right? Can we laugh at things? Can we laugh at ourselves? And, and, and do it in a fun way. Do it in a very enjoyable way. Uh, smiling and laughter is a beautiful gateway for us. And actually, um, I, I do admire um, those. I have some really close friends who have such a great wittiness. And actually my ex-husband is, is, is so witty and funny that it's such a gift. And I, I so admire that, that people that even in challenging stuff, they can, they can turn it, they can twist it to actually expand up into joy, up into laughter. And um, that is a real art. It's a real gift and, and anyone can do it. So this is the gift with Psyche is that if you'd like to be a little more witty or a little more um, hmm, being able to open easier to things that are fun or things that are just lighthearted instead of things being so serious, this is what you can do to help yourself. Hmm. And how wonderful. Hmm. Ah, so let's look at like how you were raised, okay? <laughs> your parents, your um, uh, teachers that you had, the upgrading that you had. Uh, and how are you now? That would be the first question to ask. Do you, are you pretty serious? You, are you pretty much, wow, this is just how it is. And are you just getting by? Are you on autopilot? You might want to ask yourself that too. Do I get up the same time every day, do the same routine, the same old stuff? And next thing you know, oh my gosh, it's time to go to bed. What the heck just happened to the day? <laughs> and that can happen. That can happen to a lot of us. Or are we living more consciously, living more presently and doing new things? experiencing new ways and letting ourselves have opportunities that we can changing our lives in a way that we can have an abundance of time. Oh, and abundance of money, which is really nice in abundance of uh, deep, loving, connecting relationships. I know for me, these are like three uh, big, important ones um, in, in an abundance of uh, serving abundance of uh, sharing my gifts and knowing that I receive every time I share and give. So this would be 
Um, hmm. If you can, looking for new ways of abundance. Many of us with abundance may may just think of the financial abundance because many of us uh, can tie abundance to, oh, having enough money to do what I want to do. Okay. That's one way of viewing abundance. And abundance, if you ask yourself, so what does abundance mean to me? Ask yourself that. What does abundance mean to me? Hmm. Wouldn't that be a neat thing? See how you can answer that one, huh? Yeah. I know for me, openness is the word that comes. Having abundance means I have freedoms. So freedom comes in. Freedom, abundance. I have lots of choices. I can make choices. And I am able to go into my heart and make those choices instead of my mind. Most of us got programmed to work from our minds and only make choices out of out of survival, out of scarcity, or out of just making sure everything's going to be okay, and out of fear. And what the gift is of the new abundant ways is the ways of uh, responding from love from your true essence, from your heart. And this is what this invitation is for you to be able to check in on where are you? Are you more in your mind or are you more in your heart? Are you even in your body? Are you feeling things? Are you sensing and feeling and connecting with your intuition? Hmm. That is the biggest abundance is that that of your connection with your your divinity, your your intuition, which means your higher self, your connection with all source energy consciousness um and you call god or uh, maybe the mind of god the the, um, universe uh creator there's many names for that and uh, if you can help yourself remember that you are actually the sun ray of the sun or the water droplet of the ocean meaning you are an aspect of that you are divine yes you are you are a spiritual being having a human experience and yes, our spirit part of us is so expansive. It, there is no space. There is no time in our spirit part of us. It is completely abundant. <laughs> and then we agree to come to the third dimension here on earth as a newborn baby, being helpless and having to be cared for and taken care of and learning the culture, learning the beliefs, learning the ways of, of our society when we come in here. So the first seven years, we all got programmed with the belief space that our parents had, our society had, our experiences that we had, and what we interpreted those experiences to be. So that's why with siblings, one sibling could be an optimist, another one could be a pessimist. And hmm, how can that happen? They had the same parents. They had the same situation. Isn't that interesting? Yeah. Because we get free will choice. That's the difference maker. Each of us are our individual divine selves here. And in that, we go from a very expanded state into this limited body um, and even in the third dimension, which is a bit denser of a dimension that um, does have rules. It does have orders like there's gravity here. (laughs) And I do love to fly, but and yet I do honor gravity that (laughs) the gravity will still win until um, we can help help uh, figure out how to um, even even. (laughs) <laughs> find a, abundant ways to even move through that, which I'm sure people are going to be bringing in here on this planet pretty soon, <laughs> which will be lovely. So, um, and this is part of the game here. If you can see yourself as like an avatar here, so I love that avatar movie, is that um, your spirit part of you, your divinity and oneness part of you, agreed. You volunteered to come. You even signed up and even wrote a bunch of contracts. And that's really interesting. What things did you agree to experience here? Even some stuff coming up for me now. Did I really agree to experience this? Yeah, I guess I did because guess what? It's happening. And anything that's happening to you, you're the co-creator of that. There's something within yourself that is bringing it out to you in the outer world. So when that happens, you can remember again that you are abundant. And in this new abundant way is that you remembering the love of who you are. This love is so abundant, it's beyond this world. And accessing that then can help you lead lead through more challenging times, difficult times, painful times, suffering times, up into fun. And this is what we're going to be talking much more detail about here. Um, More of the um, little pieces of this, of the beginning pieces, so that you can actually live in new abundant ways and have fun doing it. So we're so happy that you were here to listen. And uh, yes, we will be um, bringing in much more so that you can actually discover it because you actually have the answers within you. And uh, we're just here to help um, you unlock that. So we're going to take a short break now. I am Mary Mazur. You're on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, and we'll be right back. 
what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern, on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy easysense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them rediscover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Let's have fun in new abundant ways. So yes, we are welcoming you into uh, huh, the abundant uh, ship. How about that? <laughs> Many of us, we uh, didn't realize it, but we were born on a battleship or on a pirate ship or just a scary ship, you know, in the waters and in the unknown. And uh, the gift here is at any moment, we each get to have our uh, spiritual awakening. It's the time when we realize, wow, you know, I, something has to change. I've got to do something different. It could be a health issue you might be moving through. It could be a financial issue, a relationship, um, even just a safety um, issue, things like that. Whatever it is, it actually is here for you. Uh, yeah, believe it or not. And the gift is you get free will choice. So you get to decide to move in a new direction. And this is very powerful, very powerful. All it takes is a decision and it just takes courage and willingness to be, to, to do it, to actually say, and even speaking it in, we actually are so powerful. Our ability to speak from our heart, from our knowingness out into the world, literally puts it in the ethers. So, and it's happening faster and faster. So watch what you're saying. If you're speaking things that you don't want, you are actually going to get exactly that. And that is, uh, that's called the nocebo effect. Huh. And so the placebo effect, or even just the positive effect is speaking in what you do want and speaking in as if it's already happening. So yes, I am safe. I am secure. I am deeply loved. I live abundantly. I am open to receiving abundantly here. I allow myself to have fun here. I allow myself to share my gifts, to discover what my gifts are, discover what my purpose is. I am done living where I'm just getting by. I'm done with just, oh, paying the bills because that's what I was told I was supposed to do and just making everybody else happy, uh, satisfying everybody else, but then I'm miserable or I'm just not satisfied or not even happy or definitely not having fun. If any of those things are happening for you, which they did to me at one time, um, there are there are ways that, that, that there are things here that can help you. Yes, like Psyche, <laughs> yay. And breath work, breath work is beautiful. Sound healing is beautiful. You might, or even plant medicines, you might find many different ways. Prayer, some people with their prayer and with their faith. Uh, the key is, is to, is to admit it. That is actually huge because once you actually admit that you are um, not liking something or something just isn't working the way you want it to be, um, instead of staying there and getting angry there or feeling like a victim or feeling like you can't do anything about it, those are just coping skills that we learn from our childhood. Allow 
allow yourself with your imagine with the power of your imagination to just say what if and what if positive what if what if i could actually change this what could i do wow how could i begin to to begin in a new way and it actually is just taking very small beginning steps it's that initial inertia of actually getting and moving into a new direction that actually takes the most energy and all that is is courage courage and willingness of once you decide to so yes, so something has to change. Perfect. What some people may do is you may uh, begin to journal. Journaling is really great. You may begin to draw. Drawing is great. If you have a close friend or a close family member that you can share and express how you're feeling and they can hold sacred space for you, super huge. Some people will go to therapists for that too, which is still great too. <laughs> Ooh, for a psyche private session, what happens is I work with people that, yes, that have health challenges, relationship challenges, uh, uh, financial issues, or just feeling stuck. They just feel stuck and they want to get unstuck. That's huge. It's absolutely amazing. Anything that's limiting you in some, some, some major way that you've tried different things and nothing's changing. You keep going back to the same habits, same patterns. And that's only because you're running beliefs at the subconscious level of mind out of survival, out of keeping you stuck because your subconscious actually believes it's helping you, which it probably is for survival. And the key here comes in is that you can leap in new abundant ways within yourself so that you uh, can actually step, be, get out of your mind, step into your heart, step into your body, um, discover what your heart's desires are, and then begin to go make those changes at the subconscious level of the mind where the programs, 95% of all of our programs run our lives. It's our habits. It's our actions. It's even the words we speak. The thoughts we have are all based on the, um, the running programs that we have at the subconscious level. How about that? <laughs> and Psyche is one of the fastest ways and most efficient ways for us to be able to make uh, these changes. So how wonderful is that? And at the end of the show, we'll, we'll uh, share how you can uh, reach me or you can find out more about Psyche um, to help you because the key, the, what's so beautiful about this is that when there are issues and how amazing when you can actually uh, find out that there's ways that, that can help you, this is absolutely really beautiful. And it's like, yes, because uh, that is the abundant way that there's so much here to help you. There's so many ways to help and support you. It's just you finding the right way that works for you. The one that's drawn, one that you're drawn to, the one that can help you the fastest and the most. I love efficiency. If you like efficiency, yeah, then you may want to come check out Psyche, <laughs> you know, at least have, have it, have it as a, as a, uh, as a tool and a gateway in a gateway for you. So let's say you are having health issues, financial issues, relationship issues, or maybe one of those or a combination of those. Perfect. And you go have a private session with somebody. What will happen? Like myself, if you um, have a private session with me. So with, we call it surrogation. We get to work through with zoom that, uh, your spirit will be able to connect with my, um, body and spirit. And then your, your higher self will be able to help assist you. Now, how cool is that? Yes. You get to actually have the highest part of you, the divine part of you work with you. And this part of you unconditionally loves you and you get free will choice of anything you want to do. So it's allowing you to start, um, tapping into those parts that you weren't even aware of that was that are blocking you from having the things that you would love to experience in this life and and for everything that's a game changer because when you pull out the weed or the thing that that blocks you oh no i'm holding on for dear life to all that i no longer need only because it's out of survival and it's because it's familiar land because we know that even if we don't like it we still know it and many of us will stay in those old ways because it's familiar and it does take courage and a willingness to say, you know what, I get that. And I, it's important that I go live in a new abundant way within myself. And it, when you do that and you let it go, it's like as if your hands are opening up again and you can actually receive even more now than you ever could. But if you're clinching, how can you actually receive more, right? It's time to let go, release. Forgiveness is a huge one, working with your heart center to open your heart again. And many of us have been hurt. We've been harmed. We've had um, a lot of things happen to us and myself included. So would it be gentle with yourself, be kind with yourself, do one step at a time. And when you do, you're going to be actually amazed. We were taught, Oh, your body just gets old and breaks down and decays. Is that really true? Yeah. There's actually some quite people at quite at higher ages that are still very healthy and strong and vibrant and doing well. Ah, maybe it's just about beliefs. Hmm. 
interesting or what and all the beliefs do is they just create create what's happening in our lives which means you're the co-creator so how would you like to have positive abundant creation beliefs within yourself that allows you to self-heal your own body yes because you actually are designed to heal yourself if there's any issues that you're having and that's a whole another piece i used to be a nurse so i love helping people with their health <laughs> and to return back in health when they're ready and if they're willing to take the self-responsibility to find out what's happening within them that's actually blocking them from their true health that they would love now isn't that amazing mm -hmm. and then you get to remove those blocks with the gift of psyche and then insert in how you want things to be and and how important it is also is to make sure you are in your body make sure you're listening to your body that you are in your heart center and uh, these are actually new things that my friend and I are, are going to be creating also to help people with that avenue. That's more of our feminine side of us. So then that way, um, these new abundant ways within you means that you're bringing in all your new abundant parts of you that weren't in your body or weren't in your world before because you had that illusion of separation. You thought you were just this three dimensional human being here. OK, most of us got that coming into this planet. <laughs> and now we are in the ascension time. We are in the um, shifting from 3D to 5D. And what that just means is you're moving from a separation reality into a unity reality, a unity consciousness. And with unity consciousness, that is the abundant way. Yes, it is. Because when you are more unified within your, whole, your own self, when you bring all aspects of yourself back to yourself again, you can live at your highest potential. You'll be able to see the whole view of things and also see all the pieces to help, you know, put things together, help build things, help grow things. This is uh, how we're designed to uh, live. With Psyche, we call it being whole-brained. There's other, um, you know, other systems that call, uh, call in different ways. I love to say we're, you're whole again. How would you like to become whole again? When you become whole, you, you activate your new abundant ways within yourself. And fun is just a natural piece with that because it's a higher frequency in the higher frequencies um, love is your true essence and so with love comes humor comes joy comes you know <laughs> laughing comes feeling great being at peace knowing you're safe knowing that you are secure knowing knowing that you are deeply loved because you are love <laughs> yes you are love and we just forgot that's all we agree to kind of like be um, actors here or be um, in the story, be in the dream. You can call it lots of different things. And it's very real because it's very uh, tangible. Like, yes, I hear, I see, I taste, I smell, I touch. So this is a very real reality that we're living. And is it? That would be a better question to ask. Hmm. Can we start changing these realities? And this is what's so fun, especially with technology happening now and people's creative ideas and even the virtual world. My son plays with a lot of his uh, you know, X, whatever, PS5 games and stuff like that. Even those virtual realities, the movies that they're making now with so many cool adjustable um, technologies and things. We can also do that too. Yes, you can do that too. You are the director of your life, the actor of your life, the writer the producer you're all of it you're all of it and how amazing would you love to um have more fun would you love to live in more new abundant ways and this is what this talk is about this invitation because it's it is meant to be our natural state we're meant to be childlike we're meant to be playful and we can also be brilliant yes because you are you are brilliant you are a genius you are you have access to all information in the universe. We all do. It's just many of us had um, those aspects of us unblocked, um, you know, or limited or just not having the beliefs that we actually think we have that. So uh, when you can begin to blossom and open up your own spiritual gifts, you're going to be amazed how the synchronicities are going to happen, the harmony that's going to happen, the flow all the receiving help when you can open up to it to come to you and this is this is where the gift of fun in a new abundant ways happens is opening up this gateway psyche it was a huge one that did that for me that's why i'm so passionate about sharing it with other people uh, because we're in the game time we're in real time now and it's in everyone's free will choice when they're ready to say yes and once you do wow welcome to your new fun abundant ways <laughs> for being here Oh, and let yourself laugh, let yourself play, let yourself enjoy the beauty of you. 
We're going to take another short break. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun, and we're going to be dreaming more in the next section. So when you want to come back, let's dream. Did you know that your beliefs create your entire reality, but it's the subconscious beliefs that do most of the creating? Belief Shifter and Life Coach Shiraz can help you identify those limiting beliefs and eliminate them, often in a single session. Like it was almost instant, like... I had relief right away. Creating better health, relationships, careers, and finances. Let Shiraz help you step out of safety and into awareness. Definitely something's happening. Uh, it's like a, a flow inside. You know, it feels good. Whether in person or online, Shiraz provides personal coaching, belief shifting. Visit Shiraz at energeticmagic.com or call 416-529-7429. Energetic Magic on the BBM Global Network, Tuesdays at 7 p.m. Eastern. Find your greater happiness. Be well. Be aware. Be magical. Are you struggling to care for elderly parents or a spouse? Do you wonder if being a caregiver is making you sick? Are you worried about taking time off work to care for elderly parents and balance work, life, and caregiving? Has caregiving become exhausting and emotionally draining? Are you an aging adult who wants to remain independent, but you're not sure how? I'm Pamela D. Wilson. Join me for the Caring Generation radio show for caregivers and aging adults, Wednesday evenings, 6 Pacific, 7 Mountain, 8 Central, and 9 Eastern, where I answer these questions and share tips for managing stress, family relationships, health, well-being, and more. Podcasts and transcripts of The Caring Generation are on my website, PamelaDWilson.com, plus my caregiving library, online caregiver support programs, and programs for corporations interested in supporting working caregivers. Help, hope, and support for caregivers is here on The Caring Generation and PamelaDWilson.com. Hi, welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Let's have fun in new abundant ways. So yes, let's <laughs> let ourselves dream a bit here, okay? I'm going to take you through a bit of a journey within yourself uh, to access, see if you can access some of the blocks that might pre be preventing you from having fun in new abundant ways so that you can expand these. And, and in expanding these, uh, yeah, let yourself, we're going to help you with filling up with the joy of who you are, the fun of who you are. And then you can use this practice uh, for your own self uh, so that you can uh, be filled with the fun, be filled with the joy in abundant ways, regardless of what you're going through. Even, even go going through really challenging times, we always have a choice. We always have a choice. Even with the challenge that I'm moving through right now, I choose peace. I choose joy. I choose to write, even, even, um, uh, even tap into fun of just what what delights me what can bring me joy uh to stand in truth to stand in what's right and that the sh the light shines in any challenge that you're going through when you can allow yourself to let the the light of who you are the love of who you are shine through and allow the universe uh the loving uh, essence of the creator of the universe and all of your spirit team. If you um, connect with any angels, archangels, ascended masters, uh, your ancestors, uh, benevolent ancestors, you have so much support. And then also friends and family and, and real ones, human ones here too. A lot, you can allow yourself to fill with all of this. <sighs> we are vibrational beings here. We are energetic vibrational beings here. And it is in our free will choice of what level of vibration we would love to choose to vibrate in. And we can continue to expand in this vibration. So that's what this uh, ooh, activation and journey is going to help help with you. So we recommend uh, to relax, to take a couple slow, deep breaths. And I, you can gently close your eyes or have them hot, half open if you're <laughs> traveling or doing something. But if you can be with yourself, it's really the ideal. And you can even come back and listen to this later. So when you're ready, close your eyes and, and we'll be closing our eyes over here too. Take a deep breath in your nose, holding it at the top of your breath gently and stay there for about four to six seconds. This is entering in your zero point frequency, your oneness with divinity, your stillness, your silence. And then when you blow out, blow out like you're blowing out candles. 
and take another breath in. Hold it gently. And blow out candles. Another breath in. Hold gently. And like you're going down a slide when you breathe out. Ah, yeah, let it all go. Allow yourself to ground, imagining <laughs> roots coming out of your feet down into Mother Earth, into her heart, into her center. You are safe, you are secure, you are deeply loved. And yes, you live in an abundant world and it's time Hmm, to activate this, this true abundance and this abundance of fun within you. Hmm. We invite you hmm, to step into your heart center. Imagine <laughs> hmm, it's like a doorway you're moving into. It's all green here. Hmm, and you get to picture it however you love. I know for me, it's a, a gorgeous trees and waterfalls and even animals and flowers, openness and beautiful stars. And um, on one side, the other side has beautiful sun. So you can make it however you love to have it. <laughs> Mountains on the side too. Oh, so gorgeous. And allow, allow yourself to feel in your heart center. We are heart centered beings and we're here to activate uh, all of our hearts, especially our upper heart chamber, the left side of your heart, we're going to be moving into. And this heart chamber is um, your connection with your true self. This is where your intuition lies. This is where your connection with oneness is. Just imagine, just imagine you are so, so loved, infinitely, abundantly, so much unconditional love, regardless of what you've ever done or anyone has ever done to you or told you or said anything. You're safe and secure always here too. Many of us were taught that, hmm, or believe that our hearts were broken and that we've had we've had our, our hearts broken before. And, and yes, this is true. Um, we have been hurt. It has appeared that our heart is broken and that is just a symbolism. It's just meaning oh, that you actually have the courage and the willingness to be vulnerable, to be heart-centered, to allow your heart to be open, to um, pour out the love and, and the, the heart centeredness that you are. And in doing that, all of the free will choice of the other beings here or the other situations is some people have um, mm, decided the opposite where they had closed hearts and in their closed hearts, whew, they didn't know any different. And then they um, mm, were reacting out of dense um, mm, vibrations that they were in, like, like shame and guilt and worry and fear, whew, or needy desires or just apathy pride, anger, things like that. Mm. So if you've had those experiences, let yourself, you can even put your hands on your heart. Oh, and it's okay to feel those. Uh, we're meant to, as humans, we are meant to feel, we're meant to feel everything actually. And we're going to, we're going to help you with this abundant way. This new abundant way is to be able to access your true love of who you are even if you have had your heart hurt or broken ooh, or have had to protect it or have had to hide. And then for me, I had an armor all around it. I was like a Marine with an armor. So I have um, dissolved that armor now. And we invite this for you too, when you feel it is right in the timing for you. So just, ooh, as you may be feeling some hurts and even some are coming up in within me too. Ooh, welcome them thank them for showing up and if you can allow an image of you either as a, like a little child or even younger ages or even as an adults when you might have been hurt um ooh, where that block of that new abundant way or even being able to have fun um kind of close that off access that part of you that you felt like you had to shut or you had it away you had to hide you just couldn't go there. Let that part come up in front of you and speak to you and let yourself hear that part of you now because it has a voice 
And it's meant to be heard. We're not meant to hide this part of us. We're not meant to negate this part of us. We're actually meant to live this part of us. It has something valuable because it actually had the courage and the willingness to be able to experience that here courageously as a human being in the third dimension. Mm. So let that part, oh, it might have been hurt. So these are like five wounds that we'll be talking about in the next series. We're going to be doing a 12 week series mm. of like the five childhood wounds that we um, have embodied. But even just wherever you're hurt, we'll just call it hurt for now. Ah. Oh. And whatever comes up, allow it to come up, allow your body to feel it because you're going to alchematize this. You're going to shift this. And this is even just in your free will choice. Psyche just also does help a whole nother piece too. <laughs> and you can also do things like this too. Whew. Mm. So for me, yes, I'm holding my heart. I'm holding the parts that were hurt. Mm. And I'm even hearing the parts of me that does have a lot to say, <laughs> which is awesome. Oh, and then the next thing, after you're done hearing that part of you, is then ask that part of you, what did you learn from that? And how do you want it to be in your new abundant way? Because you get to turn it into a new abundant way for yourself. In the exact opposite of what you felt or heard or how you were experienced, you get to change it in a brand new way. And for me, the word freedom's coming in. It's a big, huge one for me. Being heart-centered and grounded in my heart-centeredness. And, and knowing I am free. I just had to, had to know I am free. I, I always get to choose. I get to choose to love. I get to choose to forgive. I choose to let go. And I choose love instead of fear or anger. Whew. Wow. Okay, so that was my big one. <laughs> and see if you guys got that too. Um, any pieces of that. Thank that part of you. These are practices you can do for yourself. And then now allow yourself, because if you are choosing love, like I just did, and choosing to have the courage to open your heart again, to take down those blocks or guards and choosing love, choosing the way of abundance, the way of um, even having fun, then you get to um, <laughs> begin again. And you literally get to birth again. I used to be a birth nurse <laughs> for 26 years, and now I help people birth it yourself. So here with birthing, I am now allowing myself to die to my old way because I can. We can let that go. It's okay to have a death and to have an ending, a completion of something. Because it, it, I, it served me for the time that I was in scarcity or uh, just survival. And we've been moving through suffering and pain. And now when we step into our power and realize that we are the co-creators of our lives and that uh, we, with in unison of oneness, um, that we get to feel love, um, express love, uh, allow ourselves to be interconnected again and in our I am presence again. Ooh, that it is in your courage and willingness to be able to do this for yourself that you can begin to open your heart again. Now allow yourself to fill, fill yourself with this new abundant way. Hmm, yes, a bit of fun in there. <laughs> and, and notice what it feels like. For me and for us here, it's an openness. It's just such an openness. It's bright. It's light. And this is how I choose to be. Regardless of what I've ever experienced before or whatever's happened to me before, that was the past. That was another lifetime, another way. We get to live in the now moment, the every new moment, and then begin to become in those new moments in each new moment, which then becomes our future or our new way, our new past. So you get to do this too. Mm. So let yourself feel, 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 feel with the true love of who you are and notice how that feels. What does this new abundant way feel like for you? Mm. Let yourself feel it. Where do you feel it in your body? I know for me, my shoulders are opening up. My chest is opening up. My spine is straightening. My neck is being very soft and beautiful. I'm breathing deeper. My abdomen is expanding gently. My legs are softening. My feet are planted. They, my feet do like to be planted. 
and grounded. My hands are flowing. This is the new abundant way. You actually are already this. We just agreed to not be it and to go off into other paths and other beliefs and other um, programs running within us. We get to uh, return to this again. We get to activate these aspects within us. And there's many more things that are coming whew, that I will be sharing more in episodes to come of, of these other parts of us. We actually have other bodies that we're going to be integrating within ourselves and assisting. And my friend and I are going to be offering some trainings for that for people. Uh, for now, oh, you can do as simple as this, this activation that we just did here for yourself and begin to practice with this each day. <sighs> Allow yourself to connect with um, earth, connect with your heart and connect with um, source and uh, enjoy this new way. We're going to take a short break now. I am Mary Mazer. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. We'll be right back and you'll learn more about how you can help yourself even more. <laughs> what if there were a super tiny device that could diagnose the brain and is smaller than a single human hair? What if you could see inside the brain to help an epilepsy patient during surgery or to help the fight against Parkinson's disease? Dr. Patricia Broderick is proud to announce the Broderick Probe, a biomedical and electronic breakthrough. Imagine a probe to help with the understanding and potential cure of brain-related diseases. To learn more, listen live to the Easy Sense Radio Show with host Dr. Broderick, Wednesdays, 7 p.m. Eastern on the Bold Brave Media Network and TuneIn Radio. And to help support the Broderick Foundation, please go to Easy sense.com and learn how with your help we can fight these horrific brain disorders that's easysense.com to learn more and help support the broderick foundation author radio show host and coach john m hawkins reveals strategies to help gain perspective build confidence find clarity achieve goals john m hawkins new book Coached to Greatness, unlock your full potential with limitless growth. Published by iUniverse, Hawkins reveals strategies to help readers accomplish more. He believes the book can coach them to greatness. Hawkins says that the best athletes get to the top of their sport with the help of coaches, mentors, and others. He shares guidance that helps readers reflect on what motivates them. We discover and assess their core values, philosophies, and competencies, find settings that allow them to be the most productive, and track their progress towards accomplishing goals. Listen to John Hawkins' My Strategy, Saturdays, 1 p.m. Eastern, on the BBM Global Network and TuneIn Radio. Hmm. Welcome back. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV Network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Let's have fun in new abundant ways. Woo! So I hope you're feeling much better. I know I sure am. That was absolutely amazing. <laughs> Woo! And actually, let us, let ourselves laugh. So right now, if you can just go ahead and let yourself laugh, <laughs> I'm gonna let myself laugh, and you go give yourself permission to let yourself laugh. <laughs> And let's see how often and how fat, how many times we can laugh throughout our day. How much are we really having fun? Are we so focused on getting our work done, getting things done, uh, fixing things, solving things, you know, looking at all the negative or looking at all, all the things that aren't working that we forget to have fun. That's all. It's okay. Ooh, yes. If you need to, you can write all those things down of all the things you need to work on or do or have to get solved. Cause it's, it's, it's important to be in reality check. That's for sure. Um, and then the gift comes in is when you can whew, let yourself feel with yourself, with the vibration of your love, the vibration of joy and of peace. When you can actually vibrate in that and be that, you'll be amazed when you have to tackle any kind of challenge or any kind of um, uncomfortable situation that you're in, that you'll be able to do it in a, in a flow, in a higher vibration, in a higher way. Uh, that can help you and help you greatly. And you actually have these mechanisms within you and you can do this at any time. So if you do get drop into fear or anxiety or overwhelm with psyche, 
And so what we're talking about is that you'll be able to, um, if you come to a workshop, you can learn how to transform that perception literally within minutes. So if there's any fears, any concerns, any anger, any issues, feel it, realize it's there for you. And then Psyche has a tool that helps you uh, within your body system to alchematize it up into peace and non-attachment back to your wholeness again, so that you can become an observer of it now, instead of getting pulled into that dense energy. That's the one of the biggest gifts Psyche brings. The other thing it offers for you is that you get to actually put in new programs. So like for myself, I um, had uh, humiliation experiences and a lot of fear experiences growing up with um, abuses and things like that. So it's um, really beautiful uh, when you can uh, actually um, put in, like I, I, I put in new programs and you learn how to um, communicate with your subconscious mind. So the subconscious mind understands you clearly. So I have the programs now is that I am safe. I am secure. I am deeply loved. I do live abundantly and my life does show it. It's actually pretty amazing. I have so much time and money and friends and love and fun that I'm, I'm so grateful for. And that's why I love to pour it out with all to all of you that you can, ha you can live in this way too. So if you want to get a hold of me, uh, it's best to go to my website, ignite and heal your life.com ignite because you're igniting your true self again and heal your life.com. The healing is just your, your, um, cleaning things up. You're shifting out the old and you're, you're allowing yourself to, to shine brightly and, and be on that. So ignite and heal your life.com. You can hit contact us and send me an email. And there's even a text message. If you want a text, I am uh, teaching a online workshop. So anywhere across the world, I just finished one this past weekend with some beautiful people across the world that came. So you are welcome. It's 10 AM to 5 PM Eastern time. And it's the last weekend in February, February 23rd to the 25th, uh, for three days, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and you'll learn how to use this precious sacred tool for yourself so that you can live and have more fun in new abundant ways. It's exactly, um, why this is here is for you for you to make the changes that you're ready for. And then you can use it each day of your life like I do, uh, because it's basically like a sacred wand. I call it like my sacred light love wand that I, I get to use for myself. And if anyone wants to come in person, we, we love the in-person ones too, in Michigan, Grand Rapids, Michigan, the third week of February, 16th to the 18th, I'll be in Grand Rapids at the Vitalist Institute, a beautiful healing center uh, for people that would love the three. When you come to the in-person, you get to work with yourself and others. So you'll become a psyche facilitator to assist other people like your friends and family. And, and that's the gateway for you to do the higher levels of psyche where you can do this professionally if you so choose. And uh, if you're called for this, especially people that are in, in, in these kind of fields like coaching and um, in different services for assisting people, we welcome you. This is, this is a time, believe me, there's a lot of people that are in need right now and uh, especially begin always with yourself. So that's the gift. Uh, in April, first week in April, I'll be in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. So people that want to look into that and in May, I'll be in Tennessee and I'll be in North Carolina. So just check my website out to see where I am. And uh, I'm, I will, maybe popping some new ones up soon. I uh, work with spirit So I'm here to serve. I'm here to share the light. I'm here to help people have fun in new abundant ways. I love doing it with my own self, but it doesn't have to be just Mary here doing this. <laughs> it's meant to be for all of us, all of us living in fun, abundant ways. So, um, it's all in your readiness. Uh, it, it's just take, take a look, take, take, take a step, take a leap. It's 2024. This is the key time that uh, we are anchoring in our unity consciousness. You are being called. And if you've listened to this talk, you definitely have something here. So check it out. And I am here. I'm here for you. I'm here to serve and I'm here to love and grow. And we are a spiritual family all coming together in this precious, precious time. So um, thank you for being here. You have a magnificent day. I am Mary Mazur. You are on the Bold Brave TV network. This is Change Your Funk to Fun. Uh -huh. This has been Change Your Funk to Fun with host Mary Mazur. Tune in each week and ignite the courage within you to take meaningful changes in your life and allow the fun, joy, and love in your life to awaken. Wednesdays, 3 p.m. here on the Bold Brave TV Network.